Right, we're going to do a little test today or show you a couple of products that we've just added onto our lineup, which are these cargo bars, restraining bars. So if you've got a load in the back of your pickup truck, now some pickup trucks have the Nissan, God, what do they call it, Ian? They have some like quick lock system that goes along here and you've got the ratchet. But another option is these sort of cargo bars. And we'll show you the two. But basically what you've got, they all work in a very similar sort of way. This one actually is a bit easier to use than the other one. I'll show you that one in a minute. But you can just pull it out, okay, to whatever. If you want to pull it in, you have to pull up this little plunger here. All right, so you get it where you want it. So we're trying to stop this car moving around. And we can just go... All right, and we've got little rubber feet that you can see they've got little angles. And you get it roughly where you want it. And then to tighten it, you twist this. No, I've got to get it. Twi you twist the whole lot. Now one way goes in, like that way's going out. Okay. So that now is solid in there. So it's as you do, it's got a left-hand thread on one end here and a right-hand thread on the other. So when you twist it, they either both come in or both go out. Um, so to release it again, you just just you spin it the other way. Um, and then if you want to do the macro release, you can just pull that up, slide that. Now in terms of maximum, the maximum it will go to is up here like that. Okay, like there. And there, I've written the, the dimensions there. You read those out here. 176 and minimum is 102. So just so, over a metre to nearly two. So yeah, so if you want to store it or put it behind the back seats, there you go, that's your minimum. Okay, so that's one type. That's got the mottled paint finish. That's one type. Right, now this is a second type. Similar, same, same, but different, as they say. So this one, you've obviously got the two, and what you've got is you've got one of these little, like, tent peg sort of things. You get these on tents, don't you? And they just pop up like that. But this one's a bit, e a bit more difficult, because not only have you got a, you've got a, ro it can rotate, and then you, you lose the track of where your ball is. Um, it's a little trickier to use. And you haven't got as much adjustment because your macros are a little bit further apart. So there we go, I need a bit more. Now I can't, oh there you go, I can reach that one. And then it's the same sort. But you have then got the final adjustment that you can... There you go, is that getting longer or shorter again? And presumably these have got long enough threads that you can always make up this difference. Yeah, they've got pretty long threads in both sides to be fair. So there we go. So that's a way of restraining your cargo with those two bars. Now this one, let me get the dimensions of this one. Now this one hasn't got as much, it's the same final length as the other one, but... You press the button now. Press the button now, yeah. I'm no master at this. Um, there you go. So it's the same 176, but this one... It only goes down to 115. 115, because obviously when you, your minimum one, your last set of holes are here. Um, so that's your, your minimum set there. Okay, good luck with that.